The decrepit catacombs are slightly obscured by the falling water. Catacombs. Now this would reset out here, so there's a chance that this could be a a uh, the rare that we're looking for. go ahead and use this uh, expeditious retreat. There's plenty of shrines out here in this wilderness we can use to replenish those. Uh oh. What's going on over here? Looks like they're having a powwow. Ooh man, that was a good good shot off the the sneak very well. It was funny. And these guys are just oblivious, I guess. And they're all like, oh, I wonder what's going on. I must they must be in deep meditation or something. I saw you in my sight, so I thought I'd kill you. Alright. There we go. Oct is a zombie! Swallow your soul! Yeah, leave that in the comment sections if you know what movie that's from. So there's an explorer up here. This broken structure once formed an elaborate aqueduct that channeled water across the island. You come across a makeshift camp. A scraggly dwarf sits on a log, trying in vain to keep warm. I love that line, a scraggly dwarf. Come sit, share my fire. Tis some harsh weather we're having, eh? Blah ha ha ha, or blah ha ha. Sorry, I put that too many halls in it. <laughs> well, I'm traveling. I'm a traveling mushroom. So, if you left, if you left something at home, I probably probably sell it for you. I can probably sell it for you. To you. Yeah, I'm just rumbling. I'm just mumbling like crazy lately. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm terrible at reading uh, with this cold. Uh, let's see. Let's trade. I need resupply. Uh, let's see. Mm. Yeah, I guess that's all really, really that's all we really need. Uh, today I'm feeling better than yesterday, though. Uh, it's congested. Still a little bit though. Hmm. Just in case I run out. And I think we're good on everything else. I wonder what that robe has. No, nope, just a regular old robe. Okay. So we want to um, move that over here. I'm thinking just so we have a backup set of thieves tools. Be good. And then we can use this one. Well, we'll use this one in a second. There's a there's a couple more things we need to check out. Oh. Ooh, Ice Spider, you shouldn't have done that. I got a flaming bow. 
It's on fire! This guy, Amalgam, filling here. Whoa! Look how crazy a spider. He jumped on top of my head. These fights aren't too exciting right now. We'll get to the quest here soon. I just want to check for a. There's an explorer spot here and then also a rare. We need that. Although none of the rares have been up so far. Maybe we'll lock out on this one. of the Devourer make sacrifices to their evil god at this fell shrine. Nope. Man, none of the bears have been up. Oh. I could have just peeked down over there and be able to tell. Alright, so we just need to clear out the entrance. I want to do this quest up here. And then we'll use the shrine. that smack sound when you hit something with a bow. Smack smack. So that's the entrance there. I don't think there's much more up over here. Just a little lookout spots here, but not I don't think there are anything we need to be worried about. Okay. 
Yes, and there's a Skyrim over there. It looks like Skyrim. This Perhaps. entrance leads down huh. into an ancient Kenneth Aqueduct. Alright. So we need to go use the shrine now. That way we got all our goodies back before we go into the quest. Sacrifices. Find and rescue Arissa. Options. Optional. Um, rescue all the villagers. <clears throat> Alright, so what we need to do is get some expedition retreat going here. Uh, it would be nice when I get a summon breach, but that would be kind of fun. There you go. Hmm. So I got rid of that rusty rape here, that starter one, and I'm using the body feeder scimitar now. Might just go with this for a little while. We'll have more successful combat going this way, I think. Plus, we'll get that extra temporary hit points. Like, right now we have 68 hit points temporarily. Woo! Whoa! Man, this game has been laggy lately. Alright. It's funny, I always thought this DM said Brazilian spider webs here. Well, no, I'm just joking. Brazilian it sounds spider webs block your path. They don't look capable of withstanding blows from your weapon, though. But it does sound like he says Brazilian instead of resilient, because the words are so similar sounding. <laughs> Brazilian spider webs. The cells in this room hold a number of desperate Korthos villagers. Oh, how am I to get inside? Hmm. Hey you, I have something for you. Aw, I sure didn't land on that guy. Then we'll go up here and clear this all out, and then we'll go back. Okay. So yeah, there's a there's a whole area back here. Has all these rescue uh, optionals here. And you have this lever and a few other levers. I think the first thing you do is you pull this one. At least I know how to. Then you pull this one. Zara Fjord, have my prayer has been answered? Are you freeing me? No. I am here to take over. You shall still be my slaves. <laughs> Kidda the Cutter. <laughs> I'll never convert. Never. You're not my father. And see, technically, you don't really need this one, but you know, at least I don't think. Maybe it does. Maybe it opens this up. But, uh, I wasn't really looking down the hall. All right, so we have Pristine. Eh. What I should have done is like told those girls to stay, and then got rid of this guy. Yeah, go home. And then I'd have like uh, my little chuggy concubine in here. This <laughs> is terrible. <laughs> By the whole, it'd be like uh, Castle Anthrax, uh, or. Uh, dungeon an anthrax. By Dol Ara. I'm sick of this place. You're free to go. Who, who, who are you? Uh, are you going to hurt me? <laughs> I don't like this place. I want to go. 
All right, now we're gonna go under the water. Oh no, I was trying to click the lever. It looked there. Are... there you go. I think this stuff is just there. I wonder if they like maybe they were like planning on doing more with it. Uh, this quest. It's just stuff to maybe it's just there to so you can test different mechanics in the game. I don't think there's any back there, and there's nothing at the bottom. Yeah, there's nothing there. This is just like stuff you just, I think, to test what it's like to uh, swim around in the game more than anything. At least these, these side areas. This one's locked, but we can pick this lock. We'll get our breath of air again and come back down. Muhahaha! There's this chest. Maybe it's what it is. It's the wild goose chase for all that stuff. But I thought I'd check it because you know they have changed some of these quests over the years. So I thought, oh, it's been a while since I've run these. Maybe they uh, added something. Put up the combat log so you can see some of the things that are happening with the the background mechanics of the game. This is kind of a tricky little deal here. And honestly, the best way to do this is probably to uh, do all the bottom first. But, I mean, I'm saying this like. It's kind of a tutorial kind of way of showing you something here. Once we get all these Sahabin killed, I'll show you something. The body feeder is awesome. Well, I'm not taking any permanent damage. I'm only, it's all coming off with the, the temporary hit points. Okay, so this is a... Uh, shrine room in it. and it's like one of my little rules I don't do it all the time but I generally try to make it a point of habit to make sure the doors to the shrine rooms are open some doors sometimes close on their own but this one stays permanently open so basically it only it only closes if you turn the valve again so one click opens it one click closes it but the reason that's important is if you die, or if somebody dies in your party, you can run back. You have about 10 seconds to run in ghost form, and you can resurrect yourself. It's not really a big deal in these low level quests like this, but when you start getting into quests with like major traps and, uh, you know, big mobs or really tough bosses that you're not prepared for, um, you know, you can get yourself hurt. And actually, this boss here. Is a um, I think it's a skeleton. It's got a, like a mini boss. Well, not so much a boss, I guess, because it is yellow name, but the skeleton mage is put to rest. <laughs> the different narrator's voice for that part. It's funny. Ooh, resist fire potion. Ooh, nice. I got a ring of natural armor. I think it'll stack with what we have. That's cool. 
Let's uh, put that on. Like that. And what was this here? Sonic resist. Okay, so we can, we can basically make little fire. We'll put fire, sonic, and cold, and put these down here. That's one of the problems with not running with the uh, buffs. You'll end up, uh, you know, from guild buffs, you end up having so many potions for all these little buffs or spells that you just, you know, can't uh, get more than one use out of. Like say. Um, if I had a buff, I wouldn't need to really have resistance spells uh, on me as a character. I mean, you, you could if you had the room for them, but if you didn't have the room, you wouldn't have to, uh, you know, worry about it so much. Actually, I'm uh, using that again. So again, we're. Um, Trying to go for those bonuses for the XP. There are these um, breakables up here. Uh oh, detecting something. Penalty to jump skill. <laughs> I wonder what that stuff's about. I wonder if that's actually popping up on my uh, character sheet. That is really strange. Oh, that's because I'm in stealth. That's what it is. You pop out of stealth, you don't take the penalties. These little shrine kind of areas are pretty neat. Oh, that was an item. Armored plus three belt. Well, it's armor bonus though, so it doesn't stack, I don't think. Yeah, see, that's armor bonus. And just like that robe I have, that's an armor bonus. And my armor is armor, so it has an armor bonus. Yeah, so doesn't really stack but if we find a really cool robe you know I might be willing to sacrifice the that one armor for something else you have breached the devourer's sanctum from ahead you hear a woman's plaintive cry for help Shield bash no more. You saw hog and scum. <laughs> Through there, those <laughs> Skyrim, we could like toggle a collision off and then find out. Okay, and there's a reason I come up here first. <clears throat> sometimes she's down there, and if she's down there, I can fight down there at the end and the quest, but you know, like the, the Arissa that is. Because the quest, when you find and rescue her, then the quest is over. So, I like to go up here and get the optional villagers first. With the hope that maybe she's down there. Health plus one boots. Again, it's nice, but I have even numbers, so it's not really going to do me any good for my modifier. I guess they're expecting me to come across uh, acid here soon. That's Hagar. Hagar Fjord. Okay, so these are all the 
optional. A lot of villagers. The last imprisoned villager grasps your outstretched hand, and then that is rising and a way to freedom. The devourer will not feast on the innocent tonight. Not, not on, on your watch. watch. So yeah, <laughs> that's one way out through that rope up there through the ceiling. Um, but like I was figuring, uh, or at least hoping, you know, she's down here. So you get rid of this guy. It's another optional. Ooh, you see what he just did to me? Ooh, he took away some strength. The evil cult leader will so, spill innocent blood no more. I have strength. Oh, I had strength damage. Never mind. It was just one hit. Um, yeah, it's back to normal now. I'll free you in a moment, dearie. I'm just gonna get my chest here full of goodies first. Ooh, a plus one short bow. If that's any better than this. Yeah, well, fire touch really doesn't do much, does it? But masterwork provides a plus one enchantment bonus, so yeah, it's better. <laughs> well, I don't know, one d six. It says damage rating is three point eight five. One d six damage. Hmm. 1d6 plus 1 damage, so that enhancement bonus doesn't really add in. So I think we're gonna we have a new bow now. So what we'll do is, um, at least for now, we'll, we'll put this. We'll switch these out. I think that'll be our primary bow, and then you know, we'll switch them like that. Yeah, that'd be good. Oh, Arissa, don't worry. No, oh, no, no, no more. Please don't hurt me. Oh, he's waterboarding her. They had plenty, of, plenty of water here. <laughs> Be at ease. Your father sent me to get you out of here. My father? Yes, uh, Darth Vader. You may remember him. He's not my father. No. Uh, they told me he was a. Or he, they told me he was afraid. They told me he'd abandon me. <laughs> she believed that stuff. Uh, not so. Your father loves you very much. He begged me to find you. Alright, so she's good and safe. Getting some decent XP here. So, did I move up a rank? I think I did, didn't I? Guess we got two action points. Hmm. What were we gonna get? We had. We have these spent. We can't spend them here in the in the quest, but oh, I need three because I need to unlock it and then spend it on that. And then I also need to get sneaking. Hmm. I don't know. There's just so many things you can spend your points on that are good. Yeah. You know? Well, a lot of choices. 